Hi, welcome to Banana World, Queen Bay has. I would mentally torture myself with thoughts like, I can't wear this dress because they're going to say it's like B, or I can't have that song because it sounds too much like B. It's no secret that Kelly Rowland has dealt with Beyonce haters over the years. But has she done enough to dispel the rumors? Some see it as an attempt to appease a friend who doesn't care about the damage it does to her reputation. Is it possible, Kelly, that you share my belief that Beyonce is nothing more than a pretend friend? If so, then we will definitely be discussing this topic. Sit down, my darling. Although Kelly has achieved great success on her own as a Grammy-winning performer, a New York Times best-selling author, a producer of critically acclaimed films, and a record with multiple platinum sales it, is sad that many interviews tend to heavily include questions about Beyonce and Destinies. Child, for instance, there was an interview she did on Ebro in the morning with Laura Stiles and Rosenberg and the host just kept insisting that Kelly came second to Beyonce who happened to be standing next. To the brightest light on planet Earth like you think Big Boy from Outcast has it tough being next to Andre you were with Beyonce, and not only did you not like fight it, it seems like you really loved the position that you were in and took it seriously, but you know how Kelly responded to always. Coming second to Beyonce and standing next to the brightest shining light on the planet. Here's the thing, light attracts light. I am light, so I'm a beautiful brown shining light, so I don't think anybody's... Light dims anyone else's. I think that when other people start to compare you, I think that that's when it shows how dim they are of themselves. So I don't take somebody else trying to dim my light anymore for anybody else I love. Be I know that she's a light, but I know that I'm a light too. I mean, the confation could have just ended right there, but the host doubled down on his remarks about Kelly's role within Destiny's Child, and she was just not having it. She was like, my sister has knocked down do oars and made positions for so many women that look like her that are a deeper shade than her, but specifically for black women and put black women in other places we're grateful for, but also somebody else did that for her and another group has done that for us and I do it for other brown girls, so it's a cycle and a space for all of us to open up doors for each other, instead of compare well said Kelly. Well said. You know, as recently as a few months ago, Kelly was also asked about Beyonce on her APA, Aaron's on V103 Atlanta. And she was just like, y'all, I'm done for good. So Kelly was there discussing her Netflix thriller Mopa, when mid-interview host Big Tigger asked her about Bond's announcement of Act 2 and the possibility of Act 3 being a Destiny's Child reunion album. Uh, your sister's got the whole new uh, couple of songs, and it's my understanding that Renaissance 2 may or may not be um, country-based. Uh, and then there's a rumor going around that Renaissance 3 may be either rock-based or a... DC reunion that is her business to talk about now, honey. What pissed Kelly off even more was host Jazzy MCB chiming in to explain why they asked and said she was always going to be asked about Destiny's Child, and, and I know that you all are tired of answering those questions, but fans like me for the DC and Destiny's Child reunion, and when y'all took that picture, it, it got me like really excited in my feelings. I'm like, okay, is this really going to happen? We still got to ask every time we see either. You we never see me come on, child. Kelly was like, ask them. I'm here to talk about Mia Kula, and that's what I'm excited about. I mean, she definitely stood her ground there. But that doesn't mean that the comparison hasn't affected her. In fact, there was a time in 2020 during an episode of The Voice Australia where Kelly opened up about being compared to Beyonce after a contestant told her that he struggled to find his own identity, and she said she totally gets it. I, I would be lying. I said no. It's Nevi. Or bothered me. That's bull, there was a whole decade, if I'm being completely honest. Decade that it was like the elephant in the room, but the thing that was constantly beyond my shoulder, baby. These are just some of the instances where Kelly has been asked about Beyonce in an interview, or she's been forced to mention her cuz. Cause if we start going through every time she was asked, we are probably going to need an entire day. It has got to be really exhausting for her at this point. Anyway. Like I said, W.W. You have people saying that given the number of times Kelly has been asked about Beyonce, Ba hasn't done enough to discourage it. And because of that, people still say to date that she's a fake friend. In fact, we had people pointing out how Ba was seemingly encouraged and entertained by the comparisons. Since the days of Destiny's Child, for instance, remember that forgotten Destiny's Child, Farrah Franklin, 
who once suggested that Beyonce's father, Matthew NOS, tried to take advantage of her. Unfortunately, my manager happened to be Beyonce's father, Matthew NOS. He composed me inviting me over to the hotel to meet and speak with him, so in an episode of Wendy Williams Ferris spilled that all the other members of Destiny's Child had to tan so that they were significantly darker than Beyonce and Va saw it. And she allowed it in addition, we also had former band members citing their mistreatments like Latoya Luckett and Latavia Robertson, who dragged Matthew through the mud in a lawsuit citing his clear favor. Ism of especially Beyonce Michelle Williams also said she was struggling to feel like herself again after DC, and in 2017, she revealed on the talk that she battled depression when she was part of the band, and that she expressed this to her manager who did not have the best. Response, she said, when I disclosed it to our manager at the time, bless his heart, he was like, y'all just signed a multi-million deal, and you were about to go on tour, what do you have to be depressed about? So I was like, oh, maybe. Uh, I'm just tired, of course, we can't blame Beyonce for how management treated other band members, but to a lot of people it's the fact that she saw it and never stood up for any of them, even Kelly, who literally grew up with her in her home. And I know that Kelly had a very hard time, because when... Latavia was asked what kind of a manager Matthew was. She said Matthew did not mind his words, and it can be tough to take that kind of criticism. When you were a little girl, we would try to not let it break us. But Kelly was the sensitive one, and sometimes she would go to her room and cry now, other than Beyonce allegedly not doing much to defend her bandmates. People also say that while Kelly is mostly responsible for how her career has turned out, they believe her friendship with Beyonce is part of that. Reason why she hasn't been as successful, we also have people who say that Beyonce was in a position to help her dear friend and sister during a time when Kelly was really struggling in her career, but uh, he walked away from her for a couple years. Not that Bea was obligated, and everyone has to get theirs out of the mud, but fans still feel like she could have thrown Kelly a bone. Honey, these are just some of the things that make people say that Beyonce is truly a fake friend. Plus, we all know that Beyonce is extremely ambitious and competitive and she will do anything to stay on top and knock down competition, but whether or not she would do it to Kelly, that's up to you to decide anyway for some reason. Despite the comparisons, some have suggested that Kelly harbored constant jealousy towards Beyonce, a sentiment further exacerbated by her recent release of Dirty Laundry, in which she openly expressed her envy of Beyonce's success. In 2023, Kelly had a moment of self-reflection, acknowledging that her biggest mistake was accidentally revealing the sex of Beyonce and Jay-Z's first child on Bang. She described it as the worst moment of her career, saying, it was awful because it was no one's business. I felt terrible because it's not my news to share. It was honestly the worst. Despite Kelly's clarification that it was an accident, Rumors circulated that she had intentionally revealed the gender because she has always been envious of B once. You think Beyonce has always been an insincere friend to Kelly? Has she purposefully hindered Kelly's career or refused to dispel the parallels that were clearly hurting her? Furthermore, do you believe that their friendship is genuine?